Hi everybody, it's Master Natori and my teammates, the Insectivores team, are going to present our project with the title of Insect as a Source of Protein, which is prepared for Map the System contest. In this work, we have studied the strategies to expand the edible insect market in North America. Do you know Mother Earth's kitchen doesn't have the capacity to make enough burgers for 7 billion people who are in the line? What is your opinion on considering edible insects as an alternative food source, especially for the new generation? So, what is the main challenge in this project? According to FAO report, by 2050, the world's population is predicted to increase to 9 billion and also food demand will increase by 70%. As can be seen from the figure, producing cow, pig and chicken meat are required more amount of land, feed and water than insects. Additionally, the figure in the left side of the page illustrates the global warming potential of different food production that the mealworm emits the lead CO2. Trading insects as a source of food and feed plays an economic role in gross national income and also establishing local insect farms provide job opportunities in rural era. According to the figure in the top of page, crickets have high protein content and they are a source of energy, fat, minerals and vitamins. The insects and their processing as an alternative food source have significant positive impacts on the environment. First, insects require less land and water but it still show high feed conversion efficiency. Second, as we can see in the figure, insects meet fewer greenhouse gases and less ammonia. So finally, despite all these benefits of insect-based foods and all negative environmental impacts of animal meat products, why people in North America are reluctant to consume insects as food? Well, this slide is dedicated to the identified contributing factors, health problem that we have divided them into three categories anti-nutrient properties, allergens, and microbial risk, mass production problem that uh, the most important limitation is the high cost of its processing due to manual labor requirement, lack of explicit rules and regulation in North America, lack of consumer acceptability, mainly due to consumers are uncertain about consequence of experiencing insect-based food, marketing problem, according to our survey, uh, lack of advertising leads to lack of knowledge, also unavailability in local market, lack of cookbooks and armed restaurants are the other component of marketing problem. But what are the existing solutions? Considering some treatment like blanching step to modify health issue, integrated farming and mechanization to improve production line, legislating simplify rules and regulation, and considering some tips uh, like uh, describing cooking procedure by chefs to enhance social acceptance. We identified four factors that directly affect the limited consumption of insects in North America. They are the limited data on health issues, lack of public awareness, lack of enough governmental policies, and limited marketing and availability of products and restaurants. For the first gap, it is recommended to allocate funds and scholarships for conducting extensive studies. In order to raise public awareness, it is suggested to educate people about positive nutritional, economic, and environmental impacts of consuming insects. To do so, considering course components in the universities and the schools and different ways of advertisements will be beneficial. In order to fill the third gap, it is recommended that government consider some subsidies for farming and also global and federal agencies establish restricted rules and standards. To resolve the limited marketing problem, it is proposed to enhance advertising techniques and distribute products extensively in supermarkets. According to this study, the most significant reason that prevents people from consuming insects is that they think insects are disgusting. This point of view could be changed by informing people of positive environmental and nutritional effects of consuming insects, as it happened to our team members. Increasing consumer acceptability leads to an increase in demand, which in turn results in mass production and a decrease in price. Now, would you convince to try insects and add them to your diet? Thank you.